Hey everyone, it's Anna here at Dee's and I have a new gorgeous wreath kit for you available up on shopdeeslouisville.com and this one is perfect if traditional fall colors are not necessarily your style. We're going to use aquas today, a little bit more muted colors and we're kind of going to do the wreath shaped a little bit differently as well. It's kind of a take on that white pompous grass wreath we did earlier that has sold super well if you like that more modern fall look. So you are going to still start out with the 18 inch grapevine. That is the one thing not included in the kit and we're gonna layer all of the stems we're using today I'm gonna actually start out with this um, kind of rust colored birch leaf and we're gonna go ahead and cut it into sections it's it's kind of obvious where this one cuts apart it's three different sections you can even just pull it it's just wrapped so it pulls apart really easily and we're gonna do our design kind of up here along this way so the first one we're going to go like right at 12 o'clock and go off of the right of that wreath. It's this stem's so fun because it has like twigs and leaves and like bittersweet all mixed in. Um, so next up, you're going to go straight kind of that way at an angle towards the middle. And that's going to be behind the bow. Again, it has nice sticks. A little bit of everything when you cut that into sections. And then last one, you can imagine we're going to go right down here. A little bit of glue up and into your leaf. All right. Okay, so the next one we're going to use is a fun mix. We've, we have it in a couple different colorways, but this one's really pretty. It's got a little bit of aqua. It's got a little bit of the um, mixed textures. And we're going to chop this one into two pieces. It's kind of like a harvesty wheat one. And that's why I called this one the aqua harvest wreath kit, because it just has this really pretty nice look to it with all the textures. So I only did two pieces for this one. You're going to go right kind of on top of where that first one went off to the right with the big chunk but it gives you that fun little bit of aqua too and then you're gonna go take the second chunk and you're going right in here same spot but off to the left kind of down so let's go right up in here All right. Bring those leaves back to the front. There we go. So you can see it's a little bit more wild, a little bit more airy, but all those good textures. Okay, and then next up, we are actually going to do this white pumpkin pick. It's going to go to fill in right in there. It adds a little bit of green, which I like because our ribbon does have some green in it. We're going to leave it as one big chunk. But we are going to fluff it out a little bit more so that green's not all clumped together. It's got that really neat uh, bleached eucalyptus too. So just a little bit right in the middle of where we added all that stuff. And then don't be afraid to move some of those little kind of berry picks back to the front. I'm going to take a little bit up and a little bit down on this one. Perfect. All right, so our um, ribbon is really beautiful today. It's a sage plaid. It kind of adds a little bit of the aqua and the green. We're going to make a couple loops of that one. Okay, you are going to just do two loops. You're going to have a longer tail. We're going to kind of let it flow through the wreath. And then next up, you know I love a one-inch velvet. I did it in that a little slightly darker of the aqua color. So pretty. And again, adds another shade of aqua, like teal look. I'm gonna do three loops of that one. We do have aqua berries to add to this as well. And we're gonna do those very last because we're gonna cut them apart and put them all over. So we're going right behind the pumpkin. Tie your bow. And then just take a minute and cut your tails. Okay, and these two we're gonna kind of get together, bring over this way. 
I actually might even just wire them there. Catch a little bit of this bittersweet down here. Just use that to wrap it. It's gonna kind of bring your bow down. Okay. All right, and now we are ready for some aqua berries. So I've got this larger stem. You can see there's a bunch on there. We're gonna cut it apart and we're gonna use it all over. I think it's gonna cut pretty easily into three sections, yes. There we go. See how easy? Just comes right out. All right. So first step, let's go back behind this. The top. So pretty. Okay. And then your smaller one of the three, we're going to go right in here. Behind the pumpkin, behind the ribbon. Right, and our last one, you know where we're going. We're going right here off the left behind that bow. Okay. So as you can see, it's not your traditional fall wreath that we make a lot. You know, it's designed off to the left. It's got beautiful different colors in it. And it's a little bit different than we normally make it, but it's so pretty. I love all the different shades of aqua in it. It's a little bit more involved, but it's it's just so nice and pretty. And I love the tails coming down too. This one and so many more are still available. You just need to head on over to shopthesouisville.com.